Today we are deep cleaning in my laundry room. I'm going to show you step by step how we do it. So stick around because you don't want to miss this. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling, we tore down my wall. Hey there everyone and welcome to my laundry room. If you are new, my name is Lisa. I am so glad that each and every one of you are here watching. Y'all, this is almost embarrassing to show you. I clean my laundry room weekly like I clean the rest of my house by vacuuming, dusting, mopping, that sort of thing. But it has been so long since I have been in here and deep cleaned it. I empty my lint tray between every load, but you can see how much lint and just grossness stays in your machine. My washing machine has a clean washer cycle, so we will run that with a fresh. I do that every month, and it has an indicator light that comes on. We are also going to wipe it out and make sure that it is free of any debris. We're going to clean the detergent and softener tray. I am pulling the washer and dryer out from the wall. We are going to take on all the lint and dust that flies in the laundry room and settles behind there. It is a tight, tight squeeze, and I know that there are several items that have fallen back there and need to be retrieved. <laughs> we are also going to go outside and clean the vent out. We want to make sure that that is free of debris and has good flow for the air when you're drying your clothes. So I know many of you are sitting here thinking, Lisa, I don't need to deep clean my laundry room or I don't feel like deep cleaning my laundry room today. So I'm here to tell you whether you are cleaning your laundry room or if you have something else to clean in your home, get up, get going, move with me, enjoy the friendship that we have over the screen as well as the music I'm going to be playing. Let's be productive. Let's do something together, whether it is a small space in your home or if it is a deep clean like this or a deep clean somewhere else in your home. I'm here for your encouragement, motivation, and inspiration. And if you are motivated to do your deep cleaning in your laundry room in the coming days, save this video and you can pull it back up and clean with me again later. Starting out by just going through the cabinet here where I keep all of my cleaning supplies, laundry supplies, and extra household items. I'm sorting out things that I haven't used in a while, things that are old and not going to be used. Just a general light declutter. There's not much here to do, but it's a good start to what may seem like an overwhelming job. So start small and then build from there. This deep cleaning video is also in collaboration with a wonderful group of ladies hosted by Rebecca Peaky. You will not be disappointed with the variety and content that we have in this playlist. I will have Becca's channel as well as the playlist linked in my description for you to check out when you are done watching here. Becca has wonderful content on her channel. She does cleaning and every Tuesday she has cleaning tips and tricks for you so be sure to check all of that out and thanks becca for hosting and inviting me to be a part of this wonderful collaboration i enjoyed it and am so thankful for your friendship If you know me or have been around on my channel for any length of time, then you know I love my black and white buffalo check. 
but this rug is so hard to keep clean. You can't vacuum it. You have to take it out, shake it, and then wash it often. So I'm going to pull it up. I have a rug in storage that I have in mind to use in this space instead. I am inspired to make over the space like I did my dining room. So I'll be bringing that to you in the near future. this really handy lint wand years ago at Walmart it was on an end cap I picked it up on a whim walking by it has worked great you couldn't tell it by the state of uh, my lint trap now <laughs> that I do really use it it has just been a long time and well overdue that is okay we are tackling it now we're gonna get in here and pull out all of the lint Fortunately, my hand is also small enough to reach in and grab some of these lint balls. My hose attachment on my vacuum is not long enough and thin enough to fit in here. Plus then I would be afraid of what all this would do to my vacuum. It's a process, isn't it guys? It really is. But it is so satisfying to see this being pulled out of my lint trap. Is that what that would be called? <laughs> You have your lint screen and then the lint trap down here and then it goes out the hose, the big tubing outside are invented out. So it's all kinds of technical terms. I'm just a housewife and know that your machine will run better and more efficiently, dry quicker and not overheat and last longer if you properly maintain it. Look at that. So satisfying just to see all of that coming out up and out of that trap. I also think this is a fire hazard. I don't know, what do you guys think? If it is your first time here or you are visiting from one of the channels in the playlist from the collaboration today, then welcome. I am so glad that you are here and that I can share my home with you. My name is Lisa and on my channel I do a lot of cleaning motivation. I share laundry motivation as well as cooking and shopping, shopping hauls, decorating for around the home and for the holidays throughout the year. And being a former fashion designer, I love to share some fashion with you as well. I am a stay-at-home mom to two older boys and married to my high school sweetheart. I have a passion for homemaking and love to share that here on my channel. If that sounds like something that you would enjoy watching along with a positive, upbeat energy and vibe, then I invite you to join me by hitting that subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of our growing family here at Uniquely Lisa. this dish wand full of antibacterial Dawn soap to just give the detergent and softener tray a good scrubbing get any residue off of it it gets cleaned also when I run the fresh cycle but this just helps remove any fabric softener that has built up and caked on in the trays going to rinse my lint tray and just gently scrub it so that I don't ruin the mesh fabric that is stretched across here but remove any other dirt and debris that I missed when vacuuming it. Oh, 
Heading outside and with my husband's help, he is going to clean out the outside opening to the vent of the dryer. So however your dryer vent is set up, periodically check it and make sure that it is not blocked or covered up in any way. Better, no, that's just how we dance, with liquid confidence, we find each other every night, but if I were to Back inside, I am using my Mrs. Myers in the peony scent and a soft cloth to just give everything a wipe down on the inside of the dryer as well as the outside of both the dryer and the washer. of videos where they take the insides of the washer apart and they clean in there I looked up my model and y'all it quite terrified me that something could go horrifically wrong and my washer could possibly not work right after doing all of that so beware of that if you decide to do that do it at your own risk I decided not to take that chance. I love a deep clean, but I also love my washing machine to work right and did not want to risk breaking it for something that I wasn't quite sure about. So I'm going to leave that to someone else. With that all being said, I just wiped it down real well. And then at the end of all of this, we will run that a fresh cleaning cycle. And that takes care of any odors and debris buildup. Since I am already in physical therapy for problems with my neck, I figured it was best that I wait for my husband to get home from work and do the heavy <laughs> pulling and tugging. I will warn you, it gets very tight and hard to film in here. With these pulled out, we had to move the dryer, clean, put it back, move the washer, clean, put it back. And so it gets very interesting here, but we get in and out and we get it done. It is so satisfying. going through to get this all deep cleaned is to vacuum first because it's easier to suck up all the lint and dirt and then I'm gonna go through and use my Mrs. Meyer spray and I am just going to soak the baseboards and use the paper towels to wipe it down and get it all off and since it was such a small tight space I am going to use some cleaning vinegar and a rag and hand wash the floors back here. I wasn't even gonna try to get a mop back here. So I do that by hand. I'm gonna vacuum and clean the back of the dryer. We're just anywhere we think there could be dirt or buildup of dirt. 
we are taking it on and doing the best we can. It's not going to be perfect, but it is progress over perfection. And at the end of this deep cleaning project, it is so much better than it was before. And I am happy with the job and how it turned out. in for y'all's entertainment purposes <laughs> after all that other scrubbing the floor wasn't too dirty and I got it cleaned up by hand really easily and here are the after shots of this area it is so clean I cleaned the walls the baseboards the floors the sides and backs of all of the appliances that I could reach now it is time to tackle the washer I'm going to have my husband come in again and help move it. When I first glimpsed these black blobs on the floor, I'm not going to lie, I almost lost it. You almost saw your girl lose it here on film because I thought those were bugs. And I do not like bugs, but <laughs> fortunately they were just very large black lint balls. I was very thankful for that. This didn't go as smoothly. The water line that drains out of the washer into the plumbing accidentally came unhooked and spilled water all over the floor. So I wasn't able to vacuum first like I did behind the dryer. I had to, you know, clean up all that water, which did a great job of getting most of the lint and dust. It just is a little bit different process in that regard, but otherwise we absolutely still just get in there and tackle it all from the walls, the baseboards, the floor, and the back of the washer as best as I could reach. We could not pull it out as far as we were able to pull the dryer. So we did what we could and that is okay. Something is always better than nothing. up behind the washer by hand washing these floors again with the cleaning vinegar and a rag then I'm back with my Mrs. Meyer spray we're just going to make sure everything is clean and dusted before we push the washer back into place And 
y'all just think I don't have dust and cobwebs in my home? At least I know many of my personal friends believe that, and it is absolutely not true. I am not perfect in any way, and my home gets dirty and collects cobwebs and dust just like everybody else's. The key is to just get in there and take it on and get it cleaned up. It may be spooky season, but I do not want bugs and spiders in my laundry room, so I'm wasting no time having my husband get back here and put down bug spray before we push the washer and dryer back into place. Oh, all because of you. husband got the washer and dryer moved back so now I'm using Sprayway to just dust everything else in my laundry room. These plates right here, my kids made these when they were small and they are just precious memories of all the good times, the fun over the 21 and almost 18 years that I have had the privilege of being their mother. It is so hard to believe that I am approaching an empty nest. And that is why I started my YouTube channel, is to give me something to do when I have done my job of raising fine young gentlemen and they are off to do their own thing in life. I love housekeeping and homemaking and I love to share that passion and joy with you here on YouTube. I am so glad that y'all have stopped by to watch. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all are friends to me. I worry about you when I don't see you in the comments. I worry about my fellow content creators when they are not uploading. So just know that I think about you and pray about you daily. Y'all are very near and dear to my heart. Again, I want to thank Rebecca for putting together and hosting this collaboration for Deep Cleaning Motivation. It has been a lot of fun and I have enjoyed sharing my laundry room deep cleaning with you all today. So thank you, Rebecca, and don't forget to go check out the playlist and watch all the other Deep Cleaning Motivation videos there. Are you feeling energized and motivated and inspired to take on a deep cleaning project in your home? Do you think you will deep clean your laundry room now? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up before you leave. I always appreciate it when you do that. And if you haven't joined the family here yet, then hit that red subscribe bar and ring your bell setting your notifications for future uploads. When you do, say hello in the comments so I can welcome you to the Uniquely Lisa family. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.